Let's do this. Day three, guys. <clears throat> Can you tell? We're here at the Global Specialty Coffee Expo 2019 in Boston. It's the very last day. Uh, you know, we gotta kind of wrap it up today, say goodbye to all our friends, and make some time to go see all the stuff that we didn't catch the last two days, last minute. Um, so today, we're really excited to hit the show floor for stuff like La Marzocco's new machine, the KB90. Uh, we're going to go take a look at Che Auto's booth. We're going to see what they've got going on. They, I, we've heard that they've got a couple new grinders over there. Um, similarly, we've also heard that Hario's got some new stuff, and, and including a new uh, brewing scale that seems pretty exciting. Um, and we're also going to take a look at Flair. They've got a booth here in the marketplace uh, near the competition arena where they, uh, they said that they might have the uh, connected, the Bluetooth connected espresso profiler, which would be really, really cool to check out in person. Uh, of course, behind me we have the World Barista Championship Arena, where the finals are going on today for both Barista and Brewers Cup. Uh, so we'll get the announcements later on today to see who's taking home the crown. Uh, so really excited about that. Um, we haven't been able to catch a ton of competition, but it's really always exciting to have the world competitions here in the U.S. Now let's take a look at some of the highlights from today. We're at the Flare booth in the marketplace. We're checking out the Flare Pro, which has actually been out for a little while. It's not a new product, um, but it's a very cool and really well-made manual espresso maker. It's actually uh, quite portable. It all breaks down and packs into its own padded flat case. Uh, but the Pro model is really impressive because there's a lot of metal parts in there. We got uh, metal brew group, uh, like a brew piston, metal portafilter basket. So lots of thermal mass, really high build quality. Just very evident build quality as well. Um, so really cool manual espresso maker. If you're looking for something that you might want to travel with, you might want to check out the Flare Pro. We're taking a look at the new Woots 7 grinder. Pretty interesting grinder. It's, uh, they're coated, uh, coated into uh, titanium nitride. Well thought out features and construction inside. Uh, and, and a Nick Cho. <laughs> Guys, this is Steve from Primo. I'm out Che Auto's booth today to see the new E37 SD, uh, a single dosing espresso grinder. Uh, really cool features, obviously it doesn't have a hopper uh, because it's basically designed for you to grind just what you need, one dose at a time. Uh, it comes with a lot of great accessories like a dosing funnel, a nice dosing cup uh, with a, uh, a little foot that slides right onto the rails, and even a little bellows to help sweep out the excess grounds after you're done grinding. It's really cool stuff. Hey, we're here at the Be More booth and we are looking at the yet to be named one kilo roaster that they've just announced here at the show. So this roaster, if you're familiar with Be More's uh, previous roasters, they're kind of small home roasters around 300 gram capacity. This guy will do 100 to 1000 grams and it's intended to be a little bit more commercial friendly. It'll hook up to artisan roast software, uh, USB out to your computer uh, with a lot of external control, and a lot of adaptability for whatever your situation might be. So if you want to run you know, some extra ventilation or something like that, there'll be some options for that. Really exciting product, really looking forward to it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Where were you born? Does, does uh, know about Syracuse, this? New York. Syracuse, New York. Yeah. I've heard that we don't have any extended relatives on the West Coast, but I'm going to love you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. I'm going to go.
Hey guys, it's Steve with Crema. We are here at the Global Specialty Coffee Expo 2019 in Boston, and we're checking out Hario's new stuff from Heroia, their sort of sister company that does some more experimental stuff. Specifically, we're taking a look at the new Jimmy Scale. This is a really robust brewing scale. It can be used for either pour over brewing or espresso. It's got some really great features, including a detachable screen that's actually magnetic. So if you want to use this as a shot scale, you can leave this guy right on your drip tray, put your cups on it as needed. You can put the screen right on top of the espresso machine up high where you can see it more easily. Zoka booth and we're taking a look at the new KB90 espresso machine. So the key feature that's probably most prominent in the KB90 is this new straight-in portafilter design where you lock in the portafilter just by pushing it straight into a new set of locking forks. It's really going to save your wrist if you're a barista. Uh, it's, it's a really ergonomic design. It's really, really friendly uh, as a motion in terms of you know your arm and your joints. Um, we've got a lot of other great features as well, including new cool touch steam wands, a new steam flush that helps rinse the, the group after each shot. A lot of really cool innovation here in the new KB90. Guys, that's it. That's it. We're wrapped up, we're packing up, and we're heading home. It's another great SCA in the books, and uh, we're so glad to be here in Boston this year. Uh, you know, we'll probably have to catch you next year uh, in Portland for the next SCA. And it was so great to see everybody here, to see all the new products. Obviously, it's always exciting to be at an expo with so much stuff going on. Um, but we're finished, we're packing up. So uh, if you want to catch more videos, definitely keep an eye on our YouTube channel. We're going to start posting some videos, uh, like overviews from products at the show. And of course, in just a few weeks, we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. So we'll catch you then. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, we've got all kinds of product overviews, comparisons, recipes, events coverage, and more. Feel free to subscribe, like, share this video, and let us know what you think in the comments.